Hey everyone, Dr. Nadia Reeds and your naturopathic doctor. Happy Sunday. I wanted to come to you quickly to talk to you about vegan sources of iron and why you are not absorbing. So a lot of people, and I totally, oh, it's getting loud over here. I totally respect um, people's reasons for wanting to eat vegan sources of iron if you don't consume meat. But this is an, um, an issue if someone is having a really hard time getting their iron sources up and this can lead to further problems down the road. So I wanted to shed some light on if you're eating vegan sources and you're not absorbing it, this could really be why. So yes, we can get iron from vegan sources of food. Yes, we can um, you know, eat more leafy greens and beets and all those good things. And yes, we can absorb it. But what usually happens, you know, think of a typical vegan, I don't want to stereotype, a typical vegan uh, dinner you know, eating beans and saying, well, I'm getting, my, I'm getting protein and I'm getting iron for my black beans. I keep eating black beans. What do you typically eat black beans with? Rice. Well, there's something in rice that is called oxalates. I'm trying to avoid a stranger here. That's, there's something in, ice, uh, in rice called oxalates, which blocks the absorption of iron. So it's not just rice though, it's oxalates in general. Whenever you are eating a vegan source of iron with a source of oxalates, the oxalates block the absorption of the iron from the vegan source. It's freaking crazy because you think you're pumping in all this good iron, but then you usually pair it with something that has oxalates, such as grains, such as rice, such as barley, such as even spinach has oxalates. So, you know, you think you're eating this amazing meal and you're getting your iron um, stores all pumped up from vegan sources, and then you get your blood work done and your iron is still low as shit. And why is it still low as shit? Because you're eating your vegan iron sources with your oxalates, but I bet nobody ever told you this. So I'm here to shed some light and tell you this because I don't want you to go through all that trouble and all that work without, okay, my ride's here and he's texting me because he didn't see me that I'm underneath the tree doing a lot. <laughs> um, so just, just no oxalates with your vegan sources of iron. And if you're open to other sources, I highly suggest that you consider it if you are having a hard time getting your iron stores up. Of course, talk to your medical or naturopathic doctor about this. If you want to call the clinic for what I want help, you can call at 519-967-0004 or send me a message. I am so honored to have all of you here. I love hearing from you. Thank you so much. I'm humbled. I am grateful. I am just... Ugh. Their words can't even express what I feel to be sharing this journey with you and every time I hear from all of you. It is such a blessing. Have an amazing Sunday and I'll catch you guys soon. My name is Dr. Nadia Rizzo, naturopathic doctor, and this is Health Made Simple.